My name is Tom Lockhart. I'm IT Systems Manager for the Hastings and Prince Edward Counties Health Unit. Our main office is located in Belleville, Ontario, Canada. We have six offices throughout Hastings and Prince Edward Counties. Geographically, we're just positioned roughly halfway between Toronto and Ottawa. And what we do is we provide uh, mandatory uh, programs and services mandated by uh, the province of Ontario. Like a lot of organizations, we're a heterogeneous environment, so uh, a few different flavors of Windows, a few different flavors of Linux, and 80% uh, of those servers are virtualized and 20% are still physical. Where I felt our, our old uh, uh, DR systems or, or recovery systems were lacking at, at, uh, at Hastings Prince Edward Health Unit were quick and timely recovery from either a, a massive outage or from a type of scenario where it would uh, take down either a, a portion of the infrastructure or, uh, or, or an entire server. We needed a way to recover core services quickly without having to you know, grab a server, stand it up, you know, restore it from an image. With our old DR solution, our, our RPO targets, realistically, uh, if it were a core service, and it was, for me it was sad to say, our RPO um, objectives were one to two days. And uh, for core services, to me that was unacceptable. Our RTO objectives um, were roughly uh, three to four days, I would say. I chose the uh, Plate Spin Forge product uh, because it was one of the only solutions that uh, uh, was comprehensive in, in the case that they shipped me a fully configured uh, hardware appliance with the software layer on top to do the data protection services that I required. Uh, most other solutions I looked at, I was going to have to procure hardware and software separately and then sort of build my own uh, DR solution. I actually had my first server replicating and being protected. And I kid you not, this is the truth, I believe it was about a half an hour. It could not have been a more simple process. And the reason being, the whole thing shipped almost configured and ready to go. We've had two incidences actually where I've had to recover services from the, the Forge uh, uh, DR environment. And in those cases, uh, the RTO, uh, I would say an hour, uh, because I didn't really think about fixing the production server because it was so easy for me to say, okay, I'm gonna try these three basic things, and if this doesn't fix the issue, I'm going to my Forge DR environment, I'm gonna stand up uh, my virtual machine guest in Forge and just get services running quickly, then I can, then I can you know, do a post-mortem on the problem later. It really does allow you to rethink uh, your RTO. So RTO, we're about an hour. Uh, RPO, uh, we're down to about 20 minutes. And that is how long it takes for me to say, okay, I'm going to cut over to the Forge DR uh, environment uh, to stand up the server and put it back in production by the time it does all its replication, that type of thing, and stands the VM up again, it is about 20 minutes, uh, which to me, compared to where we were before, is incredibly impressive. Installing Plate Spin Forge from NetIQ has, in a nutshell, given me peace of mind because it's, an inv it's, it's a solution where I know and I already know because it's been tested and proven that if there's a man-made disaster or a natural disaster or, or, or even, you know, even, you know, even human error where you cause issues with a server, I know that there's that safety net of that forge environment there um, that's a pressure, sort of pressure release valve for IT in here and the fact that we can stand up these services, get them up and running within a half an hour, like most of the times 20 minutes. We can, we can stand those, those core services up again in 20 minutes. Uh, and uh, we know that we've got a uh, effective, easy to use, easy to maintain, and most importantly, reliable DR solution for our environment. So um, for core services, core services have to be up so that our staff can better service our clients. And that's what we're all here for.